From the meeting room of the Public Utility Board to the courtroom, today a judge heard two sides of a broken board and made a ruling to get them back into business. Action 4 News reporter Janine Reyes has more from Brownsville. So I rule that this term begin, begins next meeting. And that ruling is what led this group out of the PUB board meeting and into a courtroom Wednesday morning. I believe that uh, Mr. Vasquez has the right to uh, participate in this meeting. One side of the board says because the newly appointed board member, Emmanuel Vasquez, was not allowed to participate, this board and Mayor Pat Almada violated laws. Ultimately, Judge Janet Law will have to decide if what got heated in that meeting. The chair has ruled. and uh, uh, The chair doesn't have the authority to rule. Is a violation of the law. Board members were so split. Two of them walked out, breaking quorum. Another board member got called in to participate, but many questioned if his term had ended or not. To move the board forward Wednesday, the judge named the official board members in the courtroom to include Vasquez and to exclude Chris Valadez and Joseph Zavaleta. And in two weeks, if both sides cannot come to an agreement as to the legality of the actions taken in this meeting... Which may include a, uh, uh, some something before a, a judge uh, to determine who is the proper m member of this board. The judge will make that decision. Either way, both sides say they're ready to argue their point about the meeting in question. So was I it think that, Well, I have an opinion that it was. Okay. I filed an answer. I said that I thought that it was. That was not a valid meeting, and any of the actions that were taken that evening should be held unenforceable and null and void. That was Action for News reporter Janine Reyes. Now, the judge will also determine what the correct starting and ending dates are for any terms of those elected to the board. A disagreement over that also led to today's hearing. Both sides say they're sure the board will be able to resume business with today's ruling by the judge. The temporary restraining order remains in effect for the next couple of weeks. I'll we'll move now to an Action 4 News follow-up. We first broke last month. Today, members of Brownsville's Public Utility Board gathered inside a Cameron County courtroom to work out the terms of a temporary restraining order that was filed after some say they held an illegal meeting. The judge ruled who officially sits on the board. They say Emmanuel Vasquez, that man who was not allowed to participate during an October 18th meeting in question, is in fact a valid board member. Judge Leal also ruled Joseph Zavaleta and Cristobal Valadez are no longer members of the board. Now, in two weeks, the judge will decide if anything voted on during the October 18th meeting is legal.